So I'm gonna cover Cheetah messaging. I have a lot to show you, but if there's one thing that sums it all up, it's this. You asked for it, we built it. Because of your feedback, we have a lot of new enhancements that I wanna show you today and that I'm excited to show you today. So let's get started. Excuse me, let's get started. I'm, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> so we start with creating a new campaign. You do it the way you always do today. You give it a name, mm -hmm. but you now have an opportunity to choose a data source. Message. That data source can now be the data platform. So you can send your campaigns to those segments I showed you earlier. This is a prime example of how we are architecting Cheetah messaging and the data platform together. We'll create an email real quick. And now we're launching that enhanced workflow Dave just talked about. So it has all the same bells and whistles you're used to, but it allows you to launch campaigns 40% faster. It's organized in five easy, easy steps. We've made enhancements on all those steps. The first major enhancement is that integration with the data platform. You can select, like I said, those segments directly right here. You can scroll any of them. These are the ones that we saw earlier. Select high value customers. Now, if you're a Cheetah Mail customer, you might find this interesting. Uh, if you provide campaign-ready files to us, we've made big improvements there. In fact, we've supercharged our upload speeds to be about 12 million records per hour, and you can select the files you want to send to directly from this interface. Now, this next enhancement, Dave's laughing. Um, I'm excited to show you, and I'm not alone. Uh, you've asked for it, we've built it, it's right here. It's our new content designer. It is slick, slick. It's slick. It is easy. In fact, it is so easy, even my mom can do it. <laughs> That's right. Please, put your hands together and help me welcome my, I'm just joking, I'm just Aww. joking. My mom is not here. We cannot afford my mom. <laughs> but if she was, she, like you, could create an email from scratch or use a pre-existing pre uh, design. That was almost a seamless transition. It was, it was pretty good. Yeah. Now we're launching that content designer. And you'll see the drag and drop interface right here. We can drag in text, you can drag in images, you can even drag in personalization and dynamic content. In just a few clicks, we can add personalization to our email. These are all the fields directly from the data platform. These are those customer attributes I showed you earlier. And all that dynamic content that you already have set up in your account is fully compatible. If you get carried away, and you will, we have full versioning control, and if you prefer to work in HTML, we have that too. Now, I want to send this email, and I want to send it to everybody, but I don't want to send it to everybody at the exact same time. I want to send it to each person at the exact optimal time for that person. That's right. Send time optimization! You get STO, you get STO, you get STO, you get It's an Oprah moment! <laughs> I love it. I love this stuff. So you can optimize on opens, clicks, custom metrics. You can put up guardrails as well around time zones and user preferences. Check out the experience zone. We can get deeper into it for you. Now, normally when we launch a campaign, we would see the uh, analytics in the campaign reports. We don't have to anymore. Now in that fifth and final, final step, you can see the analytics directly in this workflow. I'll click over to another email that we've already launched. Here it is. If it looks familiar, there's a reason for that. It comes directly from the data platform. It has all the same benefits that I talked about earlier. So everything's customizable. You can change the metrics, change how we calculate the metrics, also layer in customer attributes. That's that's an email. That's like five things in email. That's huge. Dave talked about ad audiences. New product. If you can launch an email, you can launch an ad audience campaign. You select the data source. You then select the platform. In this case, Facebook. You select the Facebook account, the Facebook list you want to sync with. And then it's just a quick data mapping exercise. In fact, some of you in this room might even recognize some of these screens because we just repurposed normal workflows you guys use. We've had users launch campaigns without even asking us the first question on how to do it. It's that easy. Facebook supports multiple different data points that they match on. Google supports others. Twitter's others. We support all of them. You launch the campaign the same way you always would. You can do it one time or you can do a reoccurring campaign if you want. Now, last but not least is triggers. It's related to messaging, but it lives in the data platform, so we're gonna pop over there. Now we call these 
smart triggers. And it's a good question to say, why are they so smart? It's a good question, John. Well, it's because they're super flexible. It's because any action can trigger any reaction. It's pretty much a scientific formula, so it's proven. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that means it's effectively any uh, website behavior, any change to a customer profile, any change in a POS system can trigger an email, a push notification, even an outbound call to a customer support center. You can see here that we have a number of triggers. We have some transactional triggers, like abandoned cart and purchase confirmation. We have lifecycle triggers that trigger when people enter or exit different stages of their journey. And we have operational triggers. In this case, we're syncing with the CRM platform all the activities that happen on a person's record. We saw those earlier in Bill's record. All of those can be pushed over to a CRM system. And if you want to manage conflicts and triggers, say a single person qualifies for more than one trigger at the same time, you can manage priority with a simple drag and drop hierarchy. It's easy. And this is huge. It's not just triggering a message or triggering a call. We have full understanding of the customer profile at the same time. So for instance, somebody abandons their cart. You want to trigger an email, email off of that. We can actually look in their record to say, oh my gosh, they're a loyalty customer. They're an elite customer. They, they haven't been with us or they haven't shopped with us in a long time. We want to change the content in the email based on what we know about that person, based on most recent activity. We can do that. We can power dynamic content, personalization, and all of that through triggers as well. So to sum it all up, you asked for it, we built it, don't blame us, right? We're happy to do it. But we didn't just build it. We built it so that it was integrated with the data platform, which means you're able to supercharge your segmentation, personalization, dynamic content, machine learning, analytics, and now triggers. Come ask us questions, we wanna answer them. The Experience Zone, please thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate it. And nice job, John. That's pretty cool stuff.